I'm Mike again. Got my name tag on, in case you forget, although you probably can't see it. That's okay. All right, so cool. Uh, thanks for joining us again this morning, and uh, excited to do some cool Lego building. I was I was trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about this morning, and then I was watching a TV show last night, and they were someone was talking about how just how cool they thought arches were, how all the all the pieces of the arch support each other, uh, and so I thought, great, there we go. Let's make some Lego arches. Hi, Caleb. Welcome. All right. Uh, so. We're going to talk about arches in just a minute here. I've got uh, a few different things we're going to try to do with them. Um, I hope you've been watching Ben's videos. Uh, I was super jealous of his uh, nice sunny weather uh, when he was building those fractals. Those were really sweet. Uh, it's very rainy here where I am in Seattle right now, but that's okay. I don't mind the rain. All right. So let's talk about arches. All right. So an arch. What is an arch? Let me draw a little little arch for you here. All right, so our basic arch shape, right, is like this little semicircle here, okay? What's super cool about arches is how they're so strong, okay? So if you can imagine, let's see, all of these little stones that I'm gonna draw on here. We're gonna, we're gonna imagine this is like a stone arch because that's sort of what we'll be able to build with the Lego. So imagine this arch was lined with stones here like this. Up here at the top is a super important piece that's gonna fit right in there. Okay, that piece that fits right up at the top there, that fits right in there like a key. There you go, that's the keystone. Okay, so that keystone is gonna be super important. And in any of the arches that we're gonna to build today, I'm gonna to show you a few different types of Lego arches and we're gonna see how impressive we can get with them, okay? But that keystone is super, super, super important. So how does an arch work? You don't even need to like connect these things together. They all hold themselves together. Imagine if you were pushing down on here with the load, whatever weight is on your bridge, right? The cool thing about an arch is it distributes that load all the way between all of these different ones and out to the side, it splits that load up really nicely. And so all of those pieces essentially hold each other together, right? They're all compressing together rather than like something that you just have sticking out that can fall, right? There's always something supporting those, those arches. So let's take a look at how we can build an arch. Now you might have like the decoration piece that is just an arch all on its own, right? But otherwise with Lego, how do we do how do we do those rounded shapes? It's a little hard to make something round with Lego, right? So let's see what we can come up with here. I've got a few different ideas for our arch, and we're gonna see what those look like. Hi, Ben and Nolan, welcome. Thanks for your idea for the uh, the challenge edition. That was awesome. Um, and I can't wait to see your monster dance party. Okay, so let's see here. Let's start with, um, okay. If we're trying to build something round with Lego, it's a little tricky. You can sort of make it look like it would be round though by sort of making steps, right? If you can imagine that this is like rounded here, does that look like an arch? Not really, okay. But when you get another one and you put them up together, now we're sort of looking like an arch, right? You see it in the middle there. And what was that special piece that I, I needed to put in there? What is that special piece that fits just like a key? Yeah, exactly. So keystone, all right, so now, does that look like an arch? Well, a little bit, you could imagine if I extended this, right, it could look kind of arch-like, okay? This arch with steps in it like this, sort of, has a special name too, it's one of my favorite words that we teach in our classes. It's called a corbelled arch. I know, it's a crazy, crazy weird word, corbelled. So this is my corbelled arch, okay? But I wanted to make an actual arch, so... I wanted to experiment, okay? So I said, uh, I mentioned you might wanna bring along some slopes maybe and some bricks. Slopes are, are these pieces, right? Because I wanted to make, let me, let, me, let me do a little smaller design here. I wanted to make my arch, let's see here. Let's say I wanted to make my arch between these two, whoop, these two stones down here. I'd need, some stones that are at a bit of an angle, right? Do you see how, let's see if I can draw this nicely. 
Okay, if I have some stones that are a little wider on the back end than on the front, then I can get that angle, and now it starts to create my arch, right? So the next one, well, let's see. Let's do it like that, right? You can see how those angled pieces with them a little wider on the back, a little skinnier on the front, are going to create that, that arch for me, right? And then I've got a spot where my keystone can fit right in. Okay, that's sort of the look we're going for here. So I thought, what would give my bricks a nice angled shape, right? If I just take some regular bricks and try to make a stone, okay, and try to give it some angle with bricks, that's going to be tricky. I mean, I could add that on there and it makes the back wider, but it looks a little funky. So I thought, what about using some of our slopes, right? So... I wanted to see how many of these I would need. So I pictured if this was like my bottom layer and I was layering all of my slopes together here, this is like making a little tiny miniature arch bridge that's not really gonna have any span, which is how far the bridge stretches. Let's see if you can see me getting these together here. Okay, I wanted to see how many it would take to get me all the way back around and it looks like it's about about six of them to get from one side over to the other side okay so let's keep that in mind about six of those angled ones all right so let's see what sort of bridge we can make here all right so i decided to take my my bricks take my bricks here that i that i built here and add a slope to them Okay, to make them a little bit wider on the back end than on the front. So let's see. I've got my little river here. Okay, a little waterfall flowing under here. All right. And I built just a couple of these little, little footings here for my bridge. Okay. And let's place those in there. And this is what I want to cross. Okay. So. I got some of my bricks, started getting them angled a little wider in the back, right? I could have put a little piece in here, but I didn't have one handy. So I just I just left a little space there. What I want to do is I want to use these angles up to these next angles to sort of start to, do you see how this is going to go? Oops. To create that arch, right? So this gets tricky because I said something about the bridge, like all the pieces in that arch supporting each other, right? But if I only have these two at the start, does anything support them? No, they just slide right off of there, right? So the most important piece is that center piece, right? That keystone. Until I have that keystone locked into there, these pieces aren't going to support each other, okay? So what would normally happen with a with a bridge like this is they'd have some scaffolding. Maybe you've heard of that. They'd have temporary supports built while they're laying those stones in that archway. They'd have temporary supports on there so that once you lock that keystone in, everything's done. You can pull those supports out and the bridge is ready to support itself, right? But we don't we don't have any scaffolding here, so we're just gonna we're just gonna judge this here a little bit. So I'm gonna hold those in there, get my keystone ready and see if I can drop that keystone in there. All right, how about that? Let's see, I'll hold that up a little closer for you there. Okay, so now I've achieved that, that arch look, right? I only have a few stones in this arch, but we said it would take about six of those angles. Is that what I have? Let's see, I have one on the base there, two, three, four, five, six i have a little arch right now the only other piece i needed was for my keystone i needed it sloped on both sides do you see that so this is my nice my nice red roof piece my slope piece there this one here is the reverse piece let me just show you what that is these are these ones here that have the slope on the underneath side right so i just use two of those next to each other to make my my keystone to lock that all in place now we said the cool thing about arch bridges is how all those pieces support each other, right? So let's test uh, let's test how strong this is, right? Okay. Eventually it broke because it's just Lego, right? 
but I was having to hit it pretty hard. And what broke was just this little tiny piece that I put on there to support the side of it broke off. Imagine if I had reinforced that, right? Because when I push down on this, that load is distributed out to all the sides and out this way, right? So this these uh, footings here are holding it together. So I can really put a lot of pressure on there. And again, the only piece that failed really was that one little side piece, okay? So pretty cool, okay? But with those slope pieces and only six of those to get around, I couldn't make a very big span, right? I couldn't make my bridge very long. So I wanted to experiment with something else. So let's try to see how big of an arch bridge we can make. Now, I didn't really think there were other slopes that were going to be maybe less of an angle. There are some, these, these ones that, that are a little bit longer. Let's see. There are some of those slopes that are a little bit longer than this other one, right? You see how that would maybe give me a few more to work with? Okay, but uh, I wanted to see if we could make a bigger one. So I wanted just a, a stone that was a little bit wider in the back than in the front, all right? So here was my thought. What if we make just our same stone, right, this one, but instead of putting a slope on it to make the back wider, I'm just gonna make the back wider with one little flat plate. Do you think that's gonna be wide enough? Let's see. Let's see how big we can get this bridge with this setup. All right, so let me bring in my, uh, my other, uh, base here for our, our next attempt at an arch bridge. <laughs> All right, we've got our construction site ready. Okay, and just like the other one, I'm gonna build some little footings that have the start of that slope. So I just put a couple of these bricks together, one here to hold it together, and one little flat tile plate there, okay? And let's see, I don't know exactly how far apart they need to be, for the size of our bridge, but I but I estimated a little bit. So let's see, I'm gonna pan us down here. Here's my new river, a little bit bigger than the other one. And here's my, my footings that I want to make my arch, right? So I wanna meet up here in the middle. So this is how much slope we're gonna have. If I just set these, let's see, which way should I do it? Maybe like that. If I just set those right on there, do you see how it's just starting to tilt just a little bit? Right? Not much. Okay. All right. Now, do you think I might run into a problem here? Let's let's keep building and see see how long I can get it here, right? Now, I'm not really attaching these together because they have that flat tile in there, right? The studs might hold a little bit on the side, but not much, right? It's all going to come down to that keystone, but I got to get up to that point first, right? So how far can I build here before I start running into problems? Let's see. No. It's starting to look like a bridge, right? If you can imagine it coming all the way up together. Let's see how far I can go here. Whoa. All right, still still holding. Oh, oh, that one's starting to that one's starting to go on me. Let's see. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna get much farther here. Oh, no, okay, so now it's too heavy, right? Okay, let's see here. So this is where that scaffolding would come into play, right? I'd need to build some temporary supports in there to hold it up. Mm. Now I could do that, I could build some, some little Lego towers to put in here and things like that. Um, in fact, let's maybe do that on at least one of these sides. So I'm gonna see, what do I need to support this? Right now, you might remember from some of my earlier videos or the wrap that I put out. What technique am I using when I'm building this to make my towers super strong? Does anyone know what technique that is? Let's see here. All right, I'm gonna see how high I need to get to support this. All right, remember to scroll down on my comments too. All right, awesome. Let's see here. How tall does that need to be to support there? I think a little bit taller, and that'll act as a little temporary support for my 
my bridge side there. All right. Let's do that. Okay. All right. So that, that'll hold it for a, a little bit there. Okay. And then once my bridge is built, I can take that out, right? Okay. So I'm going to see kind of how many of these we need to do to get to the middle here. We'll see if we can get this done in a couple minutes here. I don't know how many pieces it's going to take. Let's see. So something like maybe that, right? Okay. So that is one, two, three, four, five on there. One, two, three, four, five more. Okay, do I have enough? I think I have enough. Let's see. I'm going to prep both sides of this, and then we're going to see if we can bring them together in that center part. Okay, so there I've got another section of five. Overlapping. Nice, Johnny, you got it, right? Overlapping. I try to talk about it in every class, every live stream, every chance I get, I talk about overlapping because it is so important for making a strong structure, right? In any project you're doing, you want to overlap, which is covering up those cracks, right? So I have the two on the bottom covering up the crack with the other one. Okay, so let's see here if we can put this together. And I've got a very special piece for the end, right? Let's see here. So that's sort of what I'm thinking but I'm gonna need some more supports, right? So I pre-built this one. I've got a little random, I had some towers from some other stuff that I put together that I think is gonna be at the right height to uh, support support my arch bridge here. Let's see if that does the trick. All right, so that would get up to about there, huh? All right, let's see here. If I move this support into place a little bit more, so I can hold it temporarily at least until I can, uh, whoo, Finish this out. Okay, I've got that side. All right, let's see if I can get this other side in place. And then we've got to remember that very important last piece to lock it all together, all right? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that support is a little, in a little bit of an odd place, but let's see if I can at least temporarily hold those in there. Okay, all right, all right. I see where this is going. It's looking, looking pretty good. Everything's not lining up exactly, but uh, okay. So we've got up to this point, right? I've got those slopes. I now need that keystone, right? That all important piece to slide in and lock it all together. Now I didn't know exactly what size keystone I would be needing. So I built one that was pretty skinny here that's, that's using that same technique. It's just sloped on both sides using those, those plates, right? I built one that was a little thicker with some bricks in the middle too. Looks like maybe that's the one we want. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if I can fit this in here. Do we think uh, th think this is gonna work? It's like Indiana Jones where you're trying to swap out the, uh, the scaffolding for the keystone. Okay, let's see here. Oh boy, all right. I do, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, okay. It's not very strong yet, right? Until you lock it all together with that keystone, it doesn't have the strength that I was talking about, right? That's why that scaffolding, that temporary structure is so important for these. Okay, I think this is gonna work. I think it is, but oh my goodness, okay. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, okay, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna take this other one out. Whoa, whoa. And keystone, right? Oh boy. This works in theory, but you know what? Sometimes as engineers, we fail and that's okay too. So hopefully I can make this work. Oh no, I'm losing one there. Okay. I think I need better scaffolding for the next time I attempt this. Oh, and now I need to get this one out of the way. I'm just gonna knock it forward here. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Ooh. Slowly but surely, right? Whoa, okay, okay. Okay, keystone in the middle there. Whoa. Oh, it's so close, so close. All together, please. Okay, all right, it's a little, it's a little wobbly. It's not quite lined up on all of the sides here. Let me see if I can fix that right now. 
Okay. Okay. All right. All right. It's 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 mostly there. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think maybe my span wasn't quite long enough. Do you see how it comes up, but then sort of doesn't fully round out at the top, right? I think maybe I would have needed one more of each of these and to widen my span a little bit, okay? But it's all about how far apart it is and how much of an angle you get on those, those bricks, each of those, right? Okay, but I locked it in with my keystone, right? Okay, now... That could be a cool bridge, right? But a lot of times with arch bridges, you see the arch underneath, and then there's there's like bricks stacked up all along the side of this to make the bridge deck, right? All right, so I pre-built a little something. Again, like a big version of those of those corbelled arches that I had, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can put this on top of there to make my bridge with a couple of different arches. So I'm locking it in with my keystone. Okay, let's see if this fits on here. I think it's gonna fit. Let's see. Oh, it's wobbling a little bit. Oh, goodness. Oh, I might have made it not quite the right size. Let's see. Oh, it's very close. Okay, let's see. In there. Oh, you know what? I didn't build it quite the right size. I can't quite get it together there with my keystone. Oh, that's a bummer, but that's okay. You know what? I think that's because I have this thicker keystone in there. If I had used this skinnier one, I bet it would have lined up. You think I can switch it out? Let's try. It's gonna be really weak when I pull this out. Oh boy. Okay, swapping out the keystone. Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I think, I think that worked out pretty nicely. Let's see our bridge there. Oh, let's get our scaffolding out of the way. Okay, so we've got our keystone there in the middle. So anytime, any load that I push down with on here, now mine's a little, a little wobbly, okay? I'd need to secure this a little more. But the idea is there at least, right? So that you see, whenever I push down on this center part now, it pushes down on the angles of that keystone, which distributes that load. It spreads it out all the way down to the sides and the bottom, okay? So there's my arch bridge. And I uh, hope you learned a little something about, about bridges and the importance of that keystone, those arches. See what sort of arches you can build, right? If you've got those slope pieces, that's great. But we also saw you can just make little bricks with the one end a little wider than the other with some plates or anything that you have. See if you can get those stacked up in and form your arch bridge and test that strength out a little bit. And then you'll see if it breaks or not like mine just did. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. Thanks for joining me to talk about arches. And uh, you know, if you build one, share it with the hashtag play well at home. We wanna see what you come up with. And uh, I will clean up the rest of my bricks here. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.